Hey guys! So today I thought I would go through what's inside my pencil case. So first off, this is a black leather pencil case that is quite big. First up we have this pencil sharpener, it's in silver metal and I don't know what brand it is but it's a, a normal staple in every pencil case so yeah I just got a cheap one but it works pretty well since it's metal. Then next up is this simple plain eraser, it is in white, it's quite big, I use it quite a lot, there's not really much to say about it. It's just another staple really. Then I have these from Stapler. They are a 0.5mm 2B and I use them to write with. I quite like these and you get them out like this. Which is a really unique way to get um, these things out of it, but I think it's cool and also then you don't drop them all at once. Next up is another thing from Stapler. It is a red uh, crayon or color pencil or whatever it's called. And um, yeah, I use it to correct my mistakes. And, and so on so yeah that's why I always have it in my pencil case. Next up is my uh, pencil, mechanical pencil. Uh, I use this to write almost everything with. It is a it is a pencil twist erase click 0.5 and the thing is you can twist this one and you have a longer eraser you can also, these are replaceable, so you can just switch them out whenever you don't have in any more left. And then when you need to uh, refill it, you just open it like this, and that's a quite easy way. And you don't have to worry about this one uh, being too small for you to get the, the refill inside. So yeah, and then you click down here to make it, uh, to get more to write with. Then I have this uh, manuscript uh, Itali Italicali Creative. Um, it is a medium size and it's really good to write calligraphy in. Um, hold on, let me see if I can show you. The tip is kind of pointed so it's much easier. You don't need to, uh, when you write, you don't need to move the uh, uh, the brush and you just hold it like this and then go down and up so you get the right uh, thickness of the strokes. Next up is my Stedla pigment liner 0.1. It's a fine liner and it is I use this one since it's really small. I use it mainly to write furigana over my kanjis since the kanjis are small in the first place, the furigana needs to be even smaller. So I find this one quite useful for that. Then I have this um, silver metallic paint mark from Edding 791. I'm not sure if that is the brand. It is a quite old one and yeah. But I like to use this one. It has a metallic shine. It is a one to two millimeters thickness. It looks like this and I like to use it I think it's really pretty also if you need to write calligraphy or cards for people it's really nice to use these three gel pens they are from a Danish shop called uh, Sistonegrene I have these in the colors um, I have these in the colors black I've used this one quite a lot as you can see blue and red and I used blue and red to underline and correct my mistakes and the black one to write when I need things to stand out more than a pencil. So yeah I used the red one a lot as well because I use it to correct my mistakes. Next up I have this pencil in a gel liquid gel ink pen which is a 0.7 millimeter so it's quite thicker than the rest of the things I'm using 
it uh, it writes really well and it has a nice blackness in its color I think it's quite nice to use it's really smooth against the paper and I like this one quite a lot next up is my Fuda pen which is a from uh, Pilot and it is like a brush pen it, this one is the hard version and it looks like this I use it to practice my calligraphy of Japanese uh, kanjis and hiragana and such since this one is the harder one it's quite easy to write with the soft one I don't have it yet but I tested it out and it was way too soft to me so that's when you are a bit more advanced at it and right now I'm still in the beginner stage so this one is really good for me lastly I have these two mild liners in my pencil case it, I have one in red and one in turquoise and these are from Zebra or Zebra and each one of them I want to show you they have like this highlighter part and then in the opposite end they have a fine liner which I used to write headers with or the highlighter I used to will highlight but I really like these, they are soft in the colors and they just bring a pop of colors into your notes so that's why I really like these and that was everything I had in my pencil case I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and go subscribe to my channel I will leave a link for everything I can find in the description down below so you guys know where to find it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!